taken for granted in our daily lives. Measurement has contributed more to our advancement than one would think, but something so definitive has a convoluted history. Without a standard, we wouldn't have progressed as far as we have. How did we get to that standard and what makes a meter a meter and a yard a yard? Who gets to decide this and what benefits would it pose to the world? No matter which system you use, measurement is broken down into units. The arbitrary nature of deciding how to define these units is exactly the reason why there has been opposition between the Imperial System and SI, or the Systeme Internationale. Think about this. If these systems didn't exist, how would you specify a unit of measurement? How would you quantify things within a chaotic universe? These are the questions that humans have been trying to figure out for several millennia. There are records of establishing measurement standards as early as 3rd or 4th millennium BC. The first known standard of measurement was the cubit. It is referenced as a unit of length in ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs and even in the Bible. It was defined as the length from your elbow to the middle finger. When you think about the Egyptian civilization and all they accomplished, it is clear that their standard system helped them advance considerably. For those on the imperial system, in 1066 AD, the Anglo-Saxons originally defined the inch as the length of three barley corns stacked head to head. The sheer fact that seeds were thought of as a standard of measurement is mind-boggling. How could you trust the accuracy of that? This would result in an approximation at best with a huge tolerance for uncertainty. It was the desire for trade and eco-political motivation that inspired countries to adopt more standardized measurements. Agreements on weights, volumes, and sizes were important for equitable trade. As trade increased, economical wealth increased. As wealth increased, so did technology. Although a somewhat indirect correlation, I would argue the conception of measurement standards certainly contributed to the Industrial Revolution from 1740 to 1820, in which Great Britain was the epicenter. There were two critical moments that transpired to begin the official standardization of measurement in history. One was for the Imperial System with the Weights and Measures Act of 1824. This established the definitions of numerous measures of length, weight, and volume for Great Britain. This is where the yard was established to be three feet in length, each foot defined as 12 inches, and each inch defined as, you guessed it, three barley corns. The other critical moment was the French Revolution in 1799, where it was thought by politicians that a standard of measurement would ease tensions among divisions in the country. This led to the inception of the metric system. It was at this point that they created standards like the kilogram where metal cylinders in the exact weight of what they defined as one kilogram were made out of a platinum iridium alloy. Up until 2018, these cylinders define the kilogram for the world. You might see how the SI eventually won out at this point. They seemed to have more of a thorough approach to defining their system, at least with weights. France started a little more shakily on their definitions of length, defining the meter as one ten millionth of the distance from the North Pole to the equator via the Paris Meridian. Can you imagine trying to measure that distance accurately to a pinpoint on North Pole just to divide by 10 million? The absurdity of trying to achieve a standard definition is ridiculous at times. This is further evidence of humanity trying to impose their will on an unwilling universe. The advancement of international standards was solidified at the Treaty of the Meter in 1875. Several countries, including the United States, agreed to the creation of the International Bureau of Weights and Measures, the General Conference on Weights and Measures, and International Committee for Weights and Measures which set and govern the standards for the world. Many countries have their own institutes for keeping standard measurements. For instance, the U.S. has the National Institute for Standards and Technology, or NIST. The definitions of measurement have only gotten slightly less absurd over time. In 1960, the meter was redefined as a wavelength of orange-red light emitted by a stable Krypton-86 atom. This means that the meter would equal 1,650,763.73 times the distance between peaks of a wavelength of light. There have been more and more efforts to reach an infallible quantity that cannot be debated in order to define measurable units. 
What is seemingly illogical is that we had to measure these definitions in order to then define our measurement system. This has led to the meter being defined by the speed of light and the kilogram being defined by Planck's constant. These are considered to be values that will not change, or constants. As the precision of our standardization of measurement has refined, so has our ability to advance in technology. Being able to measure with greater precision has allowed us to advance at a considerably higher rate since the beginning of a standard in 1799. Scientists can communicate clearly with each other about research, and uncertainty has been reduced. These advancements in science allow economies to grow and society to advance at a rate previously undreamt of. All of this is leading up to my main point. I believe that all disciplines are related in ways we can't even comprehend yet. There is a beauty in the physics of the world that serves to unite all of our endeavors. I have witnessed concepts in engineering that relate to each other that shouldn't. I have seen how things like pressure and fluid mechanics can relate to biology and the human body. Taking it one step further, you can relate the measured frequencies of music and tone to the wavelengths of light and electricity. There are fundamental relationships between many areas of study that can all be brought together by the act of quantifying the universe. Measurement brings all of that together and enables us to pursue the unknown. We ascribe the meaning to the universe, and it in turn can reward us with mysteries to solve.